Welcome to Calkine's education series. Thank you for trusting us with the most reliable content. Let us see the topic for today. It's carbon dioxide sequestration. So what is carbon dioxide sequestration? Well, carbon dioxide, that is CO2 sequestration, is the process by which carbon dioxide or CO2 as it is technically referred to is removed or captured from the atmosphere to lower the effect of global warming. Sequestration is a natural phenomenon occurring on its own. However, the rate of CO2 generation has surged sharply and the natural sequestration process is unable to cope up with the situation. Carbon dioxide sequestration is receiving considerable attention since most of the countries are working on cutting their carbon emissions. The CO2 production from the industrial processes or the atmosphere could be collected and sent through pipelines or gas tankers to the fields where they can be injected into the depleted reservoirs. Now let us have a look at three types of carbon sequestration. Number one, biological. This is the storage of carbon in biological reservoirs such as oceans, soil, grasslands or forest. Number two, geological. In this, the carbon is stored in underground geological formations like rock. And number three, technological. This involves research work to determine ways to look at carbon as a resource. Technologic sequestration can be done in two ways in an oil and gas field. Firstly, the abandoned natural gas fields could be used to fill in the void of the CO2 captured from the industrial processes. The reservoir will have storage and seal already in place to accommodate the gas. And secondly, CO2 could be used in enhanced oil recovery, that is EOR process, to extract the residual oil from the reservoir. It involves injecting the gas into the reservoir using one of the drilled wells. It is to be noted that a miscible fluid is formed when injected CO2 mixes with the reservoir oil under proper conditions. When miscibility occurs, the forces of capillary pressure which formerly held the oil disappears. The oil is then free to be carried to the producing well. Well, now here are certain criteria to consider before CO2 injection is applied. A large gas gap is an unfavorable factor. If the reservoir pressure is considerably lower than the miscibility pressure, a large volume of CO2 is needed to obtain miscibility. Secondly, a fractured reservoir is considered unfavorable because it provides a conduit from an injection to producing well. Thirdly, a reliable source of CO2 at a reasonable cost is prerequisite. Fourthly, the depth of the reservoir should be equal to or greater than 2500 feet. And lastly, the temperature is also an essential factor. Now, let's have a look at why CO2 and idle gas for sequestration. Firstly, the most significant advantage of using CO2 compared to other gases is that it can extract heavier components up to C30. The solubility of CO2 in oil causes it to swell. Secondly, swelling of oil by CO2 is to a greater extent than caused by methane. Thirdly, the colorless gas lowers the oil viscosity and increases oil density. Fourthly, it is water soluble and reduces its density. And finally, it achieves miscibility at relatively lower pressures. Well, that's all for now. We hope you got a better understanding about carbon dioxide sequestration. For more such education tips, please visit our website calcimedia.com and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calcine.